I've only picked on you getting involved. No, I don't fight. Yeah. You don't have to fight. If you're really into dressing up, then you wouldn't have to fight, would you? If you're really into it that much, you wouldn't care what other people thought. Well, yeah, well, say somebody hit you. Well, so what? You'd have to hit them back. So, I mean, like, you know, if someone hits you right and you say, oh, they're wrong fitting you, and then you hit them back, you're defeating the object, aren't you? You do exactly the same as what they're doing in the first place. What's uh, yeah. If you're really into it, you know, if you're really into dressing different, then, you know, why should, why should you worry about what other people think? I just remember feeling a bit of an imposter. I think this year, year is going to be um, a year for culture, basically. What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything, but what represents culture, you know, as many cultures as possible. I mean, it, the Star of David is a sort of like African thing as well. It's not just a Jewish thing. And it's like, that's basically what it represents, you know, culture. <laughs> There's a very sort of big dwarf look at the moment, you know, dwarfs. <laughs> I mean, it's about that big, you know, it's a small man's look. And there were these big sort of rocks on their heads, you know, a bit like Malcolm McLaren. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, no, 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 not no. free. No, I you see. get a discount if you buy I the see. album. I see, OK. <laughs> allora, this is an homage to particular that they do. So this is a rather podgy version of me, but I think it's quite cute. I think this person obviously foresees the future and how I'm going to look. <laughs> After a few good meals, well, this is the great ones. You know, there's, a, there's an atmosphere around somebody, there's an atmosphere around Culture Club that we've developed and that we've created ourselves. And I think that it's a mixture of all different things. It's a mixture of the music. Because the music is very strong, it's old-fashioned in the sense that the melodies are strong. It's not just screaming. And, you know, people usually look at people like us and say, God, you know, why did it look like that? <laughs> yeah, and also, but I think the main thing is that I think I walk up with my head up. When I used, to, I used to have a shop in Carnaby Street, and there used to be gangs of skinheads on the corner, and I used to go around in high heel shoes, you know. I don't wear them anymore, of course. I think that just because a few sort of people who wear makeup make records, it doesn't mean there's a third sex developing. You know, the thing about pop stars and arty people is they have this opinion that because they're sort of doing what they're doing, everyone else out in suburbia is doing the same thing, which is rubbish. We all have had levels of eccentricity, you know, everybody has a certain idea of how they look best. And um, mine might be a little bit more extreme than the usual man in the street, but um, I think gradually, you know, things will change, you know. To me, the saddest is that yeah. I cannot change life for all those other Georges, people like Philip and Paul, you know, who aren't famous. I think basically uh, the media get bored of writing good things about you and they start digging for dirt. Um, by answering that question, I'm almost admitting that it's true, you know. It's like somebody says, to me, if somebody comes up to me and says, do I take drugs? I never discuss those sort of subjects because by discussing them, you give them credibility. You know, because there's nobody, you know, there hasn't been anybody for years who's got anything to say. Look at Prince, I mean, he's wonderful to look at, but there's nobody that's quotable. So, I mean, they can call me what they like, but they still got to chase me to get a story. I wouldn't ever say, the only thing I ever say about it is I wouldn't tell people to, like, go through it, you know to sort of discover themselves. But I mean, obviously, you know, any experience that you have, you know, does change your life, you know, and of course it has changed my life. I mean, uh, fashion, although actually I have to say, I don't think um, all of Paris fashion, all French fashion is, is good. You know, I think that Jean Paul Gaultier is pretty good. I mean, that's the thing about like sort of being, being famous is, is such a, it's such an ugly thing in a lot of ways. It has its good sides because it means that you get to travel and you get to meet people. There need to be black programmers, there need to be more black people at record companies, younger people at record companies as well. There's no young people at Virgin. You know, they're all old, they've all made their money, they're all complacent, and that is the problem with a lot of record companies. We need, we're really in need of a revolution, like punk. I like rap music, but I don't like the homophobic aspect of rap at all. I don't like the fact that they don't like queers. <laughs> That's something that had a sense of, you know, movement. And then Culture Club, because you know, we, we decided that you know, there was a Jew, an Anglo-Saxon, a black man, and an Irish gay man, so we thought, well, that's perfect, you know, it's Culture Club. Well, that I've always loved through history, people like Elvis Presley, Bowie, you know, Little Richard, Jimi Hendrix, they've always had more than their music. There was yeah. much more to them than just the guitar solo, it was, they had a style. There's a part of you that always feels separate, and there's another part of you that always wants to belong. So I think it's, it, it's really all to do with that. I mean, the whole album is really autobiographical, it's, it's very much in line with my book. Hello, I'm Boy George, and you're watching RBTV. Come out of the closet, all you students. We want you. I'm gay. Ich bin schwul, und das verschafft mir einen ganz anderen Blick auf die Welt und das Leben. Ich weiß, dass ich eine gute Stimme habe. There may come a stage in the future where John and I can actually have a conversation beyond the sort of one-liners and the barrage of jokes. We haven't really got to that stage yet, but I think we will.
That's up to you. George, what have you enjoyed? I'm very excited about Bell and Sebastian winning an award and no one knowing who they are. So well done, Scotland, for Bell and Sebastian as well. I think my favourite video in the Culture Club period was the war song. Awful song, but great video. It was kind of like the pinnacle of our excess. This is about having style over content, like the Spice Girls. You know, they're kind of just still doing the same thing. They're all bitter. I'm really joking. <laughs> don't beat me up. And that's fine. I'm not making a judgment about that. Because there's a couple of scenes that I don't particularly enjoy watching, but... Uh, you wrote them. I actually didn't write them. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> the book was written by a guy called Mark Davis. Being a gay hip-hop artist is a bit like sort of being a gay Christian. <laughs> Trying to be part of an organisation that clearly doesn't embrace you. I wouldn't... Glad to give this award because this uh, rapper is the first rapper to say something positive. Shh. Something positive about gay people and it's about time. The award goes to Kanye West. <laughs> She might. <laughs> no, not in front of your mother. No. My mother's very open-minded, thank God. I have a very open-minded mother. But would you... Is yeah, I mean, sometimes it's like it's another person, you know, yeah. it seems like a lifetime away, you know. Sometimes I'm... I, what interests me when I see, like, interviews on YouTube and some of the things I used to say... Yeah, well, hopefully you'll well, say some of them. <laughs> now when I call people, they go, is it you? Because, you know, it used to be like... <gasps> But I don't do that anymore. So yeah, no, it's, that was the biggest thing for me. Cigarettes was the hardest thing, but I'm really glad that I've stopped it. Plays you. Is that not completely freaky, or are you so used to people having dressed as you all through your career? Well, I saw when I saw him, he had a yellow face, and and you know, it, not many people can pull it off. I thought he was brilliant. It made me kind of like quite nostalgic when I saw him because he really they got the look so spot on. Uh, just George, uh, boy. What, what what should I officially use? George is fine, boy. In America, people call me Mr. Boy, which is always very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's always a fun event and today I did something interesting which I've never done before which is I sang in, in two different languages um, it's the first time I've ever done it on stage and I thought this is the perfect time because it's world pride the 70s was really the decade that informed all my kind of musical tastes really sort of Bowie you know Mark Boland and um, punk Sort of electro, a bit of bit of dance. It's better. Yeah, I think it's got even better because you've got a beautiful voice. Oh, thank but you. But it has got even better as you get older. Thank you. I think you know the starting point always has to be the music. Yeah. You know, and you know, in terms of kind of personalities, <laughs> everybody's exactly the same as they were. Is there a turbulent, <laughs> turbulent relationship? There's an award, you know, and it's it's really nice to be recognised. Um, in fact, in the last year, I've had three awards. That's quite. It seems to be the time for awards. Like around about fifty, a bit over fifty now. Um, but I think the songwriting one obviously is a big one because it's, you know, it's the thing that's given me everything in my life. Down in the middle. Uh, look at this way, guys. Can you just look right here for us, gentlemen? All four of you look right here America now for the next two months. I want to get all into the tour in a second, but real quick, what was it like participating in the Celebrity Apprentice with Arnold? When I got asked to do it, it was like me and Schwarzenegger. I just thought it was such a bonkers idea. Right. I was like, absolutely. Think very carefully about the tattoos because Mikey has got some like shocking tattoos. He's got one on his foot that looks like someone threw up at a like teenage party. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've got some. Show them your. Show them your stomach touching, Mike. You're going to fucking 